Why are giraffes so slow to apologize? It takes them a long time to swallow their pride. Sorry. So still on our first drive, we're ready for anything. And as we come upon these trees, we notice a roller, which is a common but beautiful bird you'll find here in Tanzania. This lilac-breasted roller, and up ahead are some more of Africa's smaller treasures. These are some dwarf mongooses. Dwarf mongoose are tiny little creatures. They can be around 10 inches long and weigh under a pound. Now what they want to feed on is primarily insects. Feel free to eat all the insects you want, little ones. Speaking of lunch, this hornbill's on the ground also looking for insects. The red-billed hornbill will also eat fruits and seeds to make up a meal. Now before we grab lunch, it seems like we have a larger mongoose, the banded mongoose, looking around. Now it's also looking for insects. And along with eating insects large and small, this mammal will also look for birds and reptiles. Now they usually live in colonies, but this one seems to be the only one around hanging out on this log. And now it's our lunch time, which gives me the chance to get up close and personal with the pudding. Holy babe. <laughs> Needless to say, she hates that I film everything. So as I put my camera down, my guard goes up, as these fervent monkeys are always trying to steal food. And while some tourists were wrongly feeding them, we know in our group that it's very important that these animals have a healthy fear of humans, and also they need to eat their natural diet. <laughs> these guys are bad. Bad, bad, bad. After lunch, we drove around some more, and we soon came across this giraffe. This is a Maasai giraffe. You can usually tell what species it is by looking at the pattern on their coat. Now giraffes have gone under a rearranging of subspecies and species throughout time. But what's important to know is that all giraffes need our help. Their populations have thought to drop over 40% in the past 15 years, due mostly to the habitat being lost and fragmented. Sadly, that's true of a lot of wildlife. So when we talk about animals that need our help, we must add the giraffe to that conversation. Speaking of talking, I'm going to use my excellent on-the-spot animal host skills right now. That's moving. <laughs> Watch out, Animal Planet. And as we drive away from an animal that can be around 18 feet tall, making them the tallest animal on Earth, we drive up upon the largest land animal on Earth, the African elephant, of course. This female elephant was carefully hiding her little baby. Everyone always loves to see babies while on safari. This leopard tortoise was making its way around using the road. Tanzania is filled with reptiles, but you seldom see them while driving around. This next mammal is considered a small antelope. It's called a dick dick. They can be around 5 kilograms or 11 pounds. Little antelopes for sure. Where there is one, you always seem to find another. There you are. As we're now completing our first drive, coming up upon Puddin's favorite animal, the zebra. But we won't stay too long as we have to check in at the lodge and for sure we're going to see plenty of these stripy horses on our future drives. For more information please read this video's description. Thanks for watching.